Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. My name is Adriana Theodora Dyer. I'm an intuitive reader and today I have an amazing message for the fire signs. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Before we get to our message, I wanted to just remind you that I am still offering a 50% discount on all my readings over Skype and Zoom, whichever you prefer. And they're really readings geared towards your emotional and spiritual growth and support. So if you're curious about what's next or what you kind of need to know to really navigate well through the next few months, um, reach out to me and we'll see what we can put together for you. So um, let's get to this amazing reading. I'm so glad you're joining me today because this is a really great message for whoever it is. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles is the energy around you this week. The way that you feel or the way you're going to react is the Fool, which is really awesome. And then the outcome, I'm going to show it to you all at once. We've got the High Priestess on this side, Eight of Swords, and then the Knight of Cups is trying to reach the High Priestess. This is what is trying to happen, but we've got the Eight of Swords in the middle. So let's start. So what's going on with a lot of you this week, or with this particular person I'm connecting with, is that you've got a bunch of choices in front of you, and you're trying to decide, is this the right time? Isn't it the right time? We're talking about a big step forward, and you're kind of going, eh, not sure. And so, you know, around you this week, the energy is presenting you with choices, with opportunities, really. But right now, you're seeing them as choices. It's kind of like, do I keep with the old? Do I try something new? What do I do? And for a lot of you, you're going to just go ahead and take that leap of faith. We've got the fool here, and this is kind of plunging forward with um, taking a risk, taking a big leap. And really, I, I said leap of faith, and I mean leap of faith, because the fool, you see she's standing on a rock. She has no idea if she's going to fly when she falls off or if she's going to go towards go towards the ground, but she just knows that this is the right direction for her right now. And this is like quintessential fire activity, right? You just know when it's the right time and you just go. And um, that's good. Now I said quintessential fire activity, but sometimes fire signs you like to jump in a little too impulsively and that can have you kind of thinking, oh whoops, I just made a mistake, kind of second guessing your impulse. And that's what's going on with your outcome here. We've got the High Priestess going into the Eight of Swords, going into the Knight of Cups. Now, when we have these two, and especially the fact that they're trying to come together, we're talking about a big, big, big message from your soul, from your higher self saying, yes, this is the direction we need to go. And it's the intuition is so strong with these two cards and you just know it's the right thing. Something deep inside of you is finally talking to you saying, yes, this is the direction we need to go. We need to get there. Now, it's not talking about the rewards you're going to have when you get there, but it's talking about trusting this journey. The high priestess can also represent things that are hidden. And so sometimes you might go on a course, you know, it's the right thing, but you're, you're not seeing evidence right away. And the Knight of Cups is similar. It's also a very intuitive card, but it talks about the promise of something. Now, okay, so let's, let's back up a second. You've had some choices. You've decided to take a leap of faith, and you know that it's your higher self and your soul calling to you, trying to make you do this. But your little ego brain decides to wake up and say, no, no, I don't think so. No, no, I, this, this is probably not the right idea. I think... I think I was too impulsive. I think that this probably wasn't a good idea. I should probably back up and get myself out of it. And this is normal, right? Because your ego and your mind are going to really turn on and activate when they're being challenged to try something new. And especially when you're asked to trust with no evidence. And that's what these two cards are asking you to do. But keep in mind that there's something way bigger happening here. Your higher self, your soul, whatever you want to call it, it's pushing you forward. And this, the strength of these two cards are just <laughs> so much stronger than that little ego mind. But it's still, the ego mind is still trying to have a voice. So just know that when you take that big risk, when you take that big step forward, that ego mind is still going to kind of try to hold you back. But 
these are just thoughts. This is not the way it is. This is not the truth. This is not your truth because your truth is exactly what your soul and your higher self are asking you to do in this moment. The thing that you feel pulled to strongly right now, but you've been resisting. That's the thing that your soul is wanting you to do. So hold on to that certainty. Know that this is a journey and a process. It's not going to lead to fruition right away. You know, you're not going to reap the fruits of your labor immediately, but this is definitely the right course. So <laughs> it's just such an awesome, powerful reading. I'm so happy for whoever this is that I'm talking to because it's, it's just so good to get that clarity and that strong sense. So, um, like I mentioned before, I'm available if you need some, if you're feeling like you need some emotional, spiritual growth, direction, support, you can check out the readings are available at trueguidancetarot.com. You can read descriptions and see all that other good stuff. So I will look forward to seeing you next week and have a great week.